garage. I uh, just picked up this um, supposedly uh, 120 centimeters worth of exhaust pipe that I'm going to use to plumb the diesel heater. Um, I'm moving it and uh, I'm hopeful that it's uh, 120 centimeters. So I, I did want to cover, I showed, I showed a couple of stills, or I'll show you a couple of stills of what it looks like or what it looked like when it arrived. The packaging was a little rough. I bought this on eBay. eBay. I bought two of them, and uh, that's how they showed up when they arrived. But uh, they look like they showed up in pretty good shape. And I just want to talk about uh, when you get these, be very gentle when you straighten them out. Uh, they are not the highest quality steel there is, and I'm concerned that if you went too fast, or if I go too fast, uh, I would rip this open and render it useless. So I think I'm going to actually leave that because of the installation I have. I think that'll work. And I'll be back when I get to the part where I'm hooking this up to the heater. So I did want to measure uh, this pipe to make sure I did get the 120 centimeters that I ordered. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any way of measuring metric, so we'll just do the conversion. But I'm going to measure, uh, I don't know, down to approximately here. Puts me about 32 inches, and I'm not going to be super exact here, but I'll be close enough. So 32 inches to there. I'm just eyeballing that. Um, go to the end here, and about 15 inches, so 30, uh, 47 inches roughly. And we'll just do the conversion of that. So it's uh, 2.54 centimeters per inch, and I had 47 inches. Um, yeah, so I'm going to guess that my measurement wasn't perfect, but close enough, 120 centimeters. Now we're going to hook up the diesel here. I've already got the fuel line hooked up. I'm just going to talk a little bit about the hookup here and the types of clamps that I'm using. Uh, Contrary to my prior video, I'm going to put affiliate links in my uh, in the description of these videos where I mention parts. Um, these clamps are available on Amazon, and my affiliate link will be in there. I'll give you the size, and um, you can get them on Amazon. If you use the affiliate link, I'll get a little cut of the money, I guess. Well, I've never done that before, but uh, hey, we'll see what happens. All right, so uh, there's... Apparently some confusion about what's the intake and what's the uh, exhaust on these. It's pretty straightforward. If you've got the intake for the air over on the back side here with the uh, piece that can come off and let you take the heater apart, the next pipe coming out is the intake for the combustible air. So that gets a hose on it and uh, the hose has a hose clamp. Uh, actually, I have the hose clamp with the filter or the hose with the filter on it available um, right here. And this is the one I'm going to use. You can see it's got a little screen in there. And this should keep the big stuff from going into the combustible area of the heater. Uh, these pipes in millimeters are roughly uh, intake pipe, uh, roughly 25 millimeters. Uh, exhaust seems to be a little bit smaller um, so I like to use these clamps on the exhaust and I'll talk about these in just a second and tell you why I like to use those for the fuel line this is a replacement fuel line not the line that comes with it it's got the uh, rubber silica connector and then two clamps that clamp nicely onto the fuel line and you can see um, I've run this heater before, so that's why it's got fuel in it and it's all hooked up here. 
I like this setup much better than the line that comes with it. Uh, and these clamps hold very, very tightly. I like them. So uh, the intake, let's, let's cover that first. With the intake, I don't get too carried away about the clamp. The reason I use the other clamp is that these clamps have a flat spot on them. And then when you tighten them down, you can get a, a flat spot on the pipe and that can let exhaust out. And I'm going to actually put some exhaust cement on here to seal everything up, but should alleviate that. If you don't have these, I recommend that you do get some muffler cement to use on there and seal everything up. Anyway, for this, this is the intake pipe. It's the closest to the rear of the unit. Then you've got your fuel line and your exhaust. For the intake pipe, I've got the filter hooked up. It's got a clamp on it. I put the screw head for the clamp towards the rear of the unit so it doesn't get near the fuel line. I'm just going to put that over the hose and put the hose on there like so. And oh, I forgot the screwdriver. I'll be right back. And then tighten it up. Now, um, does this make an airtight seal? I don't think so. Maybe it's close. Maybe it's good. Uh, this is the air intake for the combustible air. It should be a fairly airtight seal, but it's not going to make or break the installation if it isn't airtight and everything's not coming through that filter. You'll be okay. Just cinch it up and tighten it on there like so. Good. Not going. Not going anywhere. Some some uh, almost boomer has to say that, right? That's not going nowhere. All right, great. Next is the exhaust. Now this one is important uh, in my opinion. You want to get the exhaust outside. You don't want it venting inside. So all the precautions you take are worthwhile. The clamps that I use, and I hope that you can see this, is the 23 millimeter to 25 millimeter clamp. They've got a little wider range than that. But you can see that they're when they clamp down, they're nice and round, and they provide a nice even seal around the pipe. Now for this pipe, it's going to be coming up here. This is going to be tipped downwards. And I want the bolt for that to be on the outside here. I don't want it all jammed in here with everything else. So let's orient that like so. Put it on the pipe, slip it over the pipe. And with that ready to go. I'm going to take the muffler cement and just put a very small amount of it around the edge here. And you can see where it had some on there before from the previous installation. So just a little bit. And go around like so. Try not to get it inside the pipe. Uh, it should take just a second to talk about the exhaust. Always have your exhaust vented downhill. I've seen people have like a, a J coming out and going out their, their wall. I've seen people have the exhaust pipe vented in the building and then they say, oh, it doesn't smell too bad. Well, uh, I don't care if it smells too bad. You do not want diesel exhaust vented in your living space or work area. Not good. So just put a thin bit around here and this stuff once it dries, keeps things pretty taut there. And I think you'll agree with me that once you see the clamp on there, that there's not going to be much chance of exhaust getting out here. There we go, a nice thin coat. And this doesn't dry too, too quickly. And it's cold in here anyway, because I haven't run the heater. Clean off my finger. Alright. So now we are going to reposition the camera, get set up, and hook the exhaust up. Before we do that, let's talk a little bit about the muffler, if you will. Uh, it's got a spring in there that seems to bounce around freely. I'm not really sure if you should have the exhaust going into the spring, going that way. I guess you should. I don't know if it matters. 
I'll move it around. Anyway, the important part of this is this needs to be outside. I can't stress that enough. I've seen installations where people have this going to the wall and then another pipe going out the wall. Well, there's a little weep hole here. That's for the condensation to come out. You want the, this oriented vertically when you get it outside and that weep hole down. Even if you had it sort of like this, and when you run this initially, if you go out and look at the pipe, you'll see that there's some exhaust leaking out these seams. This is not airtight. This needs to be outside. Sorry if I keep repeating myself. I just can't stress that enough. It does not belong inside. None of the pipe you want venting inside a work area or living area. All right, let's get this thing hooked up. With these clamps, you also get an included uh, wrench, if you will, and it works great for tightening these down, which is perfect. So I'm going to tip this down. That's how I want that set up. I've got my, no, I actually want the wiring harness to go over the top of that. There we go. And then I'm going to get the pipe and put the pipe on the exhaust. So, slide it right up to the top, and put the clamp up here, and tighten it down. And hopefully I'll drop this wrench right on the camera, because that's about where we're at. Right. So while I'm hooking this up, and before I get outside and finish up that part of the install, let's talk about the air intake briefly. Um, some people say that your air intake should also come from outside, your combustible air intake, that is. Uh, the reason being that you will be consuming your breathable oxygen and using it to combust the fuel and then send that exhaust outside. Well, there's probably something to that if you were in an airtight building <clears throat> that was a very small room, and I'm looking good here, I like that. Um, there could be something to that. Uh, in this case, I'm in a 20 foot by 40 foot garage, and it has a 10 and a half foot ceiling, and I don't think I'm going to run out of air in here to breathe. It's a well built building, but it's probably not airtight. All right, I like the look of this. I may try to get the fuel pipe up here, put a spot up here, just kind of put a clamp up there to hold that up and keep the fuel pipe away from the exhaust. Uh, this gets very hot. I'm not too worried about it, though. It, uh, it's got enough space in between it, and it should be okay. So I just need to go outside and hook up the muffler. I've got the... Um, penetration going through the building. I've got double insulated pipe with a ceramic uh, blanket that's made for building ovens. I'm pretty sure I'm okay. Uh, do your own homework as far as what you need to go through the wall safely and get your exhaust outside. I'm pretty confident in this setup and I think I'll be okay. So um, I'm going to hook up the exhaust outside and then I'll just shoot a quick video showing that and then I'll start up the heater and we'll check and make sure that we are not getting any leaks here and i do not believe we will all right so this is the exhaust hook up outside i've got the muffler on uh, again i'm going through a double insulated double walled pipe uh, i used the old style clamp there the clamp that came with it not the new clamps uh, we're outside it doesn't really matter if there's a little bit of an air leak there because that's where the exhaust is coming out uh, just for the time being, I've got this uh, car ramp here hooked up to guard the hydraulic hose of my log splitter. I installed this system in the, in the middle of winter here, and I didn't have a lot of time to pretty things up. Uh, this summer, I'm going to build a little uh, box around this to keep it safe, to keep any wheels from running into it or what have you. And uh, yeah, everything looks pretty good. I'm going to go back inside, make sure there's no leaks, but I just turned it on and uh, everything seems to be working correctly, so I'll go inside and check it out. Alright, so the heater's on. Uh, I'm going to probably reposition the 
air intake a little bit, maybe clamp it or uh, hang it up here so it's out of the way. Uh, everything looks good. I moved the fuel line up a little bit. Uh, I also want to make sure that I'm very clear uh, that the system that I use to vent this works for me. You have to do your own homework, check your local codes, consult a professional. I'm definitely not that a professional. I'm a guy out in my garage trying to get some heat and it feels good. I got some heat on. Uh, this pipe is warming up. I'm probably going to get some odor off of that pipe because it's brand new. But I am not seeing anything leaking underneath. It, uh, it looks good. I'm not feeling anything coming out here or excessive heat or anything like that. Um, okay, the fuel line. I might try to move the fuel line back a little bit more. I don't know. I guess it's okay. That's where they. That's where it was engineered to be, I guess. Uh, it should be okay. It's not going to spontaneously combust or melt. Uh, at least that's my my hopes and dreams, right? All right. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later in the garage.